everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. We do not have a surgery here today. I was going to do a surgery, but I don't think that I had enough here to make a full surgery video out of it today. So I'm going to cut the shish back, not do a surgery, and uh, yeah, just get into what we got going on here today. Feeling pretty good about it. I think we got some good stuff going on. Going to fix these guys up. I honestly, you know, Beth Phoenix couldn't really do a lot with her. I didn't really think of anything that I could do that would really stand out, that would really make sense to me, so I just put her up on the shelf for good measure. We got Big Show as well. Didn't really, you know, I don't have a ton of Big Show Elites. I have, like, a couple of the Elite 70. I, of course, have the Fan Central, and that head sculpt wouldn't fit on some of those bodies the same way, especially the Fan Central one, because it's a little bit larger of a torso, and the Big Show figure. I, I just don't have enough Big Shows to make something out of it, so I'll probably have to wait until I get more Big Show figures or older figures or something, do some different swippages and swappages later on down the line, but I know for a fact I could do some stuff with Kane. I do have a Roman here that I'm really, really excited to fix up. Kofi, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with him as well. You guys can give me your opinion on Kofi, but then the Triple H figure and the Roman are the, probably the ones that I'm most excited about here today, guys, so let's go ahead and dive into what we got going on. So, the first thing that we're going to do with this Kane, well, the Kane's really nothing, Brad. The Kane, you want to know what we're doing with the Kane? Let me show you what we're doing with the Kane. We're going to take this extra head sculpt plop it off and then take the bald head sculpt and plop it on there and that's it i mean it's a simple appointment brad you come in you get your get your head swap oh my god dude this head sculpt's really hard to get on here if you guys own this figure you know what i'm talking about be be careful you may even want to heat it up like christ on a bike man they make the neck holes or the head holes ah oh, way too damn tight they make them way too small regardless there we go kane is finished we can take a look at kane at the end got a little something special going on there young man did i freaking are you are you shitting me look at this look at that little schmutz above his eye i don't agree with that Nonetheless, Kane is done, guys. Let's move on to what we're going to do. Okay, so pretty much I ordered this hoodie on eBay. It's a sleeveless red hoodie. I'm going to put this on this Roman Reigns figure because I think it's going to look super badass. And I'm going to use that in the pick pad. I got some different Roman head sculpts coming in. I'm also going to put the ponytail head sculpt on this because you guys know this is interchangeable. I have another Roman on the way that I'm going to make back into this look. That way I can use that for, you know, pay-per-views and stuff like that that's more of a current Roman. But yeah, I feel like that will be pretty badass. So we're just going to put this hoodie on onto this Roman. I think that'll be pretty sick nasty. We also have Kofi. Now, I, I didn't know what to do with this. I thought about getting Mustafa Ali knee pads and switching those on here and removing the little logos on the knee pads because the yellows are similar. I don't think they're exactly the same, but then I also have these Elite 9 Kofi knee pads that I get. These would totally work, right? I mean, these would work. The only thing is, is I hate the long knee pads. So then I was like, you know what, Brad? I could just saw these down or something, but that would look stupid. And you can never cut these very well. Like, cutting these is very difficult to get the shape correct. So, I don't know, man. I'm probably just gonna skip over Kofi today. Not gonna do too much with him. You guys can just let me know what you think about that. I just hate the long knee pads. Like, I literally despise them. So, I don't know. We can, we can do Kofi at a later date. But this one's the one that I'm really, really excited for. This one's gonna be the Epitoma. Ever since, I made it a long time ago, I said fix-ups you can do with new figures. If you guys remember that video, I said that you could take. Uh, if I have the clip, I'll plug it in for you guys. Another one that I'm really excited to do, guys, is the brand new Decade of Dominance Triple H figure. A fix-up that has popped in my head. There's actually a couple here that I'll get through, but the thighs of Triple H are always on ball joints. Every Triple H Elite has ball joints. You can take any Triple H figure. You know, you can take the Fan Central. You can take the Elite 60 or the Elite 73. You can take any of those Triple H figures and pop the legs off and then put normal legs on there. You can use the white tape. You can use the black tape. You can use the no tape. You can use all kinds of different tapes or, or different versions of the legs, bare legs, and pop them in there so it looks like he has regular black and red Triple H trunks on there. And another thing that I was thinking is switching the head sculpt out for, I don't know, I guess it's Battle Pack 20 Triple H where he took on Brock Lesnar. This is one of my favorite Triple H Elite face scans. It's the best. It's the best Triple H head sculpt to me, or it's one of my favorites. Put that head sculpt on this figure with the black and red trunks. That would absolutely look fire. I need to edit these together, but I think that would look absolutely fire. But in that clip, I said, I think I said take this DOD Elite, the Decade of Dominance, take this basic Triple H head sculpt like this, put this head sculpt over here, and then swap the thighs with a Triple H with the white tape like this, like you guys are seeing here. I also don't like that white paint right there. What the hell's going on, Brad? Regardless, white knee tape. Put these legs over here to give him the 
the trunks look like this, so he won't have this, you know, the, these trunks anymore. Slide these knee pads off, put these knee pads on here, so you get these smaller knee pads over the black tape, and then we're going to switch these boots from this Mojo Raleigh with the iron crosses off of it over to these legs over here, and these boots can go over here to Mojo Raleigh. That way he won't, he won't have these iron cross boots no more. He'll actually have just solid black, and it'll look a lot better, and it'll be accurate for Mojo Raleigh, so he's not walking around with damn Triple H boots on anymore. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it, man. I guess what we can do first is go ahead and do Roman, and then we will dive into our surgery of the Triple H and getting him all fixed up, because I'm really excited. I've been waiting to do this damn fix-up forever. I picked up two Triple H's for that simple fact of doing this fix-up, so the, illu the illusion's ruined now, and I'm just gonna shut the hell up and dive into what we're, good, what we're doing here today. I also have elbow pads to put on the Triple H, because these long ones are not that good. Alright guys, so first up, we're gonna take the Universal Championship off. We're going to plop this head sculpt off of our Roman simply because the Roman Reigns figure has interchangeable head. You guys know that these head sculpts, the new Elite 84 head sculpt, this one and then the Man Bun one, they both pop off easily so we don't have to worry about that. Alright? So we're taking our red hoodie right here and I don't think this was made for WWE figures but I think it's gonna work. I just gotta get it over the damn head and stuff. I think it's definitely gonna be a tight fit and everything. I just gotta get it on there. If I can get it on there, I'm gonna put the arms up like so and just try my best not to screw this up. Honestly, probably should remove the gauntlets and the hands. I actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the gauntlets and the hands. That way, there's not extra stuff like tugging on it. I don't want them to like get caught or something and then mess up. So this should make it easily. This should make it way easier to like slide on there. Another thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get a logo made for this Roman, you know, for this, for this hoodie. Because I think putting a, like a bloodline logo, like a custom bloodline logo or getting like a Roman Reigns vest logo or something like that put on it would probably make it look even better. Nonetheless, I'm going to try my damnedest to get this damn hoodie on here and I don't want to tear it or anything, so I'm going to do my best to be careful as hell. Pulling it up through here, sliding that down, and bam. Oh, shish. All right, this is what we got so far. Oh, hell, Brad. Oh, snap. All right. Now we just got to put a head sculpt on there. I'm trying to make a bunch of different looks for Roman. I also thought about put, like painting some red onto these gauntlets, like the little stripes. And I also thought about doing something red to these boots. I just don't know what yet. Well, let's go ahead and put the gauntlets back on. There's the one gauntlet and the other gauntlet. Oh, yeah, that's badassery, Brad. All right, now we just got to put the head sculpt on there. I'll try the man bun head sculpt first. Again, I do have custom head sculpts coming, but I guess we can put the man bun head sculpt on there. Oh, dude, look at how badass. Oh, that is just sick nasty. MDT champion about to F people up. Look at that. Oh, what a champion. What a what a goat right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying that. He's got a little something. He's got a lot of something special going on there, young man. And then you have the interchangeable head sculpt. So that's just freaking fantastic. But that is not all we got, guys. We also got to do our Triple H figure. And we'll take a look at that at the end. Alright, so the first order of business, guys, is going to be the head sculpt. So we're going to switch out the head sculpts first. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these guys like so, and then heat this up with the good old white trusty hair dryer. You guys know how we do. So right here, and then... All right, guys, let's see if this is good enough. You always got to be careful about these head sculpts, though. See, look at this piece of ish trying to give me trouble. You ah, God in heaven, that hurt me. I don't know why it did, but it did, Brad, and we got his thing off, and God in heaven, Jesus Christ, it's not even the heat. It just, like, hurt my thumbnail. All right, got that. Now let's pop this over here. This is probably my favorite Triple H head sculpt. I don't know why. It just looks just like... He just looks like an assassin. You know, he just looks like an assassin. That's all I got to say about it, really. But there we go. Head sculpt's off now. Well, uh, I guess we can plop this over here. You got a little something different going on there, young man. So let's just go ahead and pop this over there. And he can go on his merry dandy football way. All right, there you go. That Triple H is done. Gives us a different look for Triple H anyways. And next up, we got to heat up their legs. And... And that should be relatively easy. The only thing is, you know, Triple H figures are always on ball joints. Besides his older, I think his Hunter Hearst Helmsley, fi Helmsley figure is the only one that's not his Elite 23. It's literally just the network spotlight that isn't, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to heat up these crotches, switch these legs, and I guess while we're at it, let's go ahead and get these boots in here because maybe we can, we might be able to still heat up the uh, Mojo Raleigh boots. We may be able to switch all of this together. We'll see. I'm not going to get confident, but we'll see. Like, these boots aren't even in the ray of sunshine, so I don't, I don't freaking know. All 
Alright guys, let's uh, see what we got going on. First off, Mojo Riley boots. There's the one boot. Well, technically they're Triple H boots, but uh, switch that off there. Switch that off there. Go over here. Pop that off there. Okay, this one's insanely hot. Oh my god in heaven. Okay, and then put that over there, and then will this boot pop off? Yes. There, there, and then you gotta slide the knee pad off. There's the one. Come on, damn it. Come on, damn it. <sighs> There's that. Uh, where's those? Okay, knee pads. Uh, right knee pad. I feel like we are just too far gone now. I don't know what to say. Come on, Brad. I bet the 12 minute mark's gone. I bet it's gone. Who knows though? I guess you could say like 14 minutes or less is the is the prime time zone. We're probably we probably screwed that up yesterday. All right, there's that knee pad swapping over other knee pad. Damn you! Ugh! All right, and then the Iron Cross boots. What the hell's going on right here? All right, Iron Cross boots. Where you at? One boot, other boot. Bam! Got it. Good. Bingo. And then the solid black boots over here can go on Mojo Raleigh if they're heated up enough. Got the one and got the two. Hell yeah. All right, Mojo Raleigh, only elite we've ever gotten of him. Thank Christ. All right, now that we've done that, guys, let's take a look at everything we've done here on Action Figure Appointment. All right, guys, here's everything we did on appointment here today, and it actually looks like a surgery. You guys know that we did. I just went ahead and threw these legs on this Triple H for no reason. You guys already saw this weird head sculpt thing, and then the uh, Mojo Raleigh just got black solid boots, so he's not wearing the Triple H boots anymore, so that fixes up for me. And then pretty much the simple cane was just a head swap with the DOD to give him the bald look because I got two of them, so I have the mask removal one, and then I have the bald one from the Here Comes the Pain look, and then the two epitomas. The grand finale is the Big up Triple H with the black and red attire. I think he wore this around 2005, early 2006. I'm pretty sure. He may have worn it at the end of 04 as well. But the the red iron cross on there, the white tape, the black iron cross boots here, smaller elbow pads, this head skull. I mean, this is sick as hell. I love this. Triple H has been one of my favorites of all time for a while and this just makes it look... It, like, that is such a badass fix. I'm so glad to bring that fix up to fruition after we talked about it months ago. But here is the Roman Reigns as well, and I cannot get over how badass this looks as well. I think he definitely needs some sort of logo on the chest. I just don't know what to do. But nonetheless, I still think the Roman turned out great. The man bun, the tattoo coming out, sleeveless hoodie in the red for the bloodline and the Usos and the just, just, just sick as hell. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out. So for this random shout out, guys, we actually have a few shout outs that I want to get into because yesterday in our Decade of Dominance Elite Wave, talking about the Big Show and the WrestleMania chair and the commemorative chair. I asked people if they had had that chair before and it turns out that Floyd Money Mayweather had been on the chair and Mattel just removed him from the chair and it looks so funny and just how stupid is that? It's so funny. Obviously they couldn't put him on the chair which I understand that part but why not just do something different or a different accessory instead of completely taking out Floyd? I don't know but huge shout out to Matthew Kana Kananako? Kanonako? Kanakako? Kick a carrot cake? The chair that Big Show comes with actually is what it actually looked like. But Floyd Mayweather was next to Big Show on the real one. And then I want to give you a huge shout out to Vincent Morales for hitting me up in the DMs and showing me exactly what the chair looked like. And then some other people, Dylan Jockis also sent it to me. And then also underscore perfect angles on Instagram also sent it to me. So a huge shout out to all of those guys for letting me know about the chair. I still think that's absolutely hilarious that that is what they did for the chair. But that's just terrible. Anyways, I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the appointment. Let me know what you think of the fix-ups down in the comment section below. Huge shout-out to Matthew Carrot Cake and the rest of them for the, the comments. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, Brad, and, uh... Don't be like this Kofi Kingston and cross a line. You cross the line.